we're trying to understand how to regenerate these cells that are important for hearing called hair cells. And hair cells are the receptor cells, essentially like photoreceptor cells in the eye. These are the cells that first detect the sound. So they're called hair cells because they have a little bundle of um, cilia on the top of the cell. It has nothing to do with the hair on the top of your head. Um, but these, and these hair cells are, are well inside your ear. They're deep, actually deep in the skull in a structure called the inner ear. So you have the outer ear, which is what you see, the middle ear, which is where the bones are that transmit the sounds to the inner ear, and then the inner ear is really where the sound is detected and turned into an electrical signal, a neural impulse to the brain. So um, hair cells really carry out that function. The problem is that hair cells degenerate, and we're only born with it's actually about 15,000 cells in each ear in humans. And that sounds like a big number, perhaps, but if you consider, you know, the brain has billions of neurons, it's, it's really a very, very small number of cells. And so it's been a challenge in this field for quite some time to try to figure out ways to regenerate these hair cells. They don't regenerate spontaneously. And so we decided to um, manipulate a pathway called the notch signaling pathway, um, which, without going into scientific details, um, is one of the pathways that we knew we could manipulate to turn stem cells into hair cells in a dish. And so the real question here was, if we damaged the hair cells, had a deaf mouse, and then essentially inhibited this notch signaling pathway, would we be able to bring back any hair cells and would we be able to restore any hearing? And to our um, delight, we did in fact accomplish that. We actually used a drug called a gamma secretase inhibitor which had been developed for, actually for Alzheimer's disease. Um, there were a number of studies done over the last decade looking at these inhibitors. In that case, they're not trying to inhibit the same target. They're trying to inhibit a different target, which is something that causes the plaque formation in Alzheimer's disease. But the drug that they were using, actually it's an interesting story because the drug had side effects which were caused by its inhibition of this notch pathway. And so we said, oh, okay, if this, these side effects in an Alzheimer's patient are exactly what we're looking for um, for treating deafness. And so we decided to try that idea out in these mice, and we found both things we were looking for. We found new hair cells, and we found an improvement in hearing in the animals.